Good everyone. How is everyone doing today? We are about to be starting up with chapter three. And as always, I am your dungeon master. So, uh, I am going to... Oh, look at it. We got the, the boo-boo biscuit emotes in chat already. Love it. Love it. Love it. Great main with the resub. I also love that one. Thank you very much. We are joined by our lovely, lovely players. One more time. We are, have Lost Without a Trace. We have Scorched Ace 97. We have... Ari Cypress Everly, who needs to angle her camera down a little bit. Perfect. We have Grey Main Gaming, who is not quite as fuzzy as he normally is. And the only ever fuzzy on the inside, more than 56. One minor change is that by request, uh, you should be able to see the characters. Yes. Okay. Boop. Unmuted. Good call. Can you hear us now, Bacon? I forgot that I had a new button. So, I in in response to requests, I have made sure that all the players' names are av available on the screen. And now, as you can tell, the reason why I didn't do that before is we currently have three players whose names together is Von Walther Thur Thur Fox. So, <laughs> it's really not going to help, but there you go. I'll now leave the names on until somebody goes, it's too cluttered, take the names off, and then we'll just keep doing this game for forever. So. It's too cluttered. Right? Okie dokie. So. When last we met, place. which was more recently than normal, so my brain should be able to do this part even easier, the party had just cleared the black gate and it started to head into uh, the Black Fortress. And we're being led through the town by new companions named Blaze, Alexander, and Birdie. If you check in character notes, by the way... You will notice that uh, I have given you guys an updated map. And that this map shows the area from the edge of the pass out and shows the entire ring of doobly-doos. Oh, yeah. You know. And the slight bit of information you have about the surrounding area. Which is to say, not much. I had also wanted to show another map, but I don't think I got it in here yet. So let me see if I can pull that up on stream. And if I can, then I'll be able to show that one to you guys very quickly as well. So if you guys can check out the stream, if not, I'll put these in in a moment while we're doing other things. But this is a sky a bird's eye view of the black fortress there is a wall that runs around it here like this so there is this map and then there is a close-up of eastgate which is the section that you guys are going to be in right now which will show basically the names of some of the local denizens, which you'll find out about shortly, uh, as well as just the, the outside of the East Gate. And you have all made it to Fountain View, which is the hideout. More than 56 has purchased 10 packs. More than 56 has purchased 10 packs. That's not a repeat of last week's no. command, right? <laughs> okay. Well, then, thank you. 
and enjoy your packs. Also, if you would like to spend your packs, I have brand new charts. I have detailed files. Not yet. Okay. Oh, I didn't get a chance to read what it said. I, I see that on a very small screen. Use the common card. Do you use the common card? Common loot. Common loot. Loot. That we will sometime find in the future. Yep, but chat's going to get to see me roll the chart right now. Because I have a, I have a I chart. chart. All right, you guys, I'll let you see this real quick, just so I can show off my charts. I have common, and I have uncommon. And I have very rare. I don't have rare done yet, but I'm working on it. The other three, you will see 104, 249, and 282. So there are options. Just a few bits, pieces, yep. odds, ends. No worries, Ray. All right. So a common loot. And none of you guys saw that roll in the in the boundary chat, correct? No. Yay, I did it right. Okay. So, after having spent time playing with Polly, you are now in the foyer of uh, the Fountain View 5 and have met the fourth and final member of the Fountain View 5, who is in the room as well. He is the yellow man that is in the room. He is a Sithonian. And his name is Marcus. And that's about all you know at the moment. But that means in this room, you currently have Marcus, Birdie, Blaze, and Alexander to speak with. All four members of the five. Yes. All four members of the Fountain View Five. Oh, for everyone else, I mean, for you guys as well, but you will notice I have a new tracker right over here on this side. It is plus plus three in blue. Yeah. Minus minus two in red. Plus <laughs> zero in blue. Minus zero in red. Those are major encounters for the top two, minor encounters for the bottom two. That that that's that's things what is owed based on Donos and bits and channel points and whoozy watsies. Okie dokie then. Alrighty. So. So, this is Blaze speaking. I'm curious. What I thought you were Blaze. What happened yesterday, and how did you all manage to make it this far? Van, I think you're in charge here. You should take that one. Uh, well, um, we uh, we set out and marched. Uh, through the ravine. Um, we uh, started to siege the walls. Um, I was assuming we breached the walls when I heard a loud crash, and then basically all hell broke loose, and I don't really know what happened after that. Right. Lots and lots. Of we just kind of hit in the hole. We did a good hide. Nobody else hit as good. And then... So... 
I'm guessing then that means the Asmodian Legion won? Well, I don't think we won, so yeah. I mean, out of technicality, we're still alive, so they haven't necessarily killed the army yet. Well, most, most of us are still alive. Well, true. Hey, I think you still have a heartbeat. And that still kind of counts as alive, right? I mean, Boo -boo biscuits he, work on you. You're alive. He has most of a heartbeat, technically. Alexander says, "Well, while we have a moment, and we're not currently being attacked, I'm going to go get changed. I'll be right back." And disappears out of the room. Okay. And not as in disappears, but like walks out through a, a doorway that you guys haven't ex explored yet. I should say. Just so that you don't panic. Just for clarity. <laughs> for clarity. He went invisible. He's, he's already established himself as a mage. Ha. That's all right. As long as he didn't mm -hmm. do like a... And, and he is in fact not a mage. Therefore, he has established himself as a lie. He is a lie. As long as he didn't do like a, the Adaya poof, you know, it's fine. We only need one one person going in and out. No, he did not Adaya poof. Yes, I, I, are you gathering psychic stowaways? I really hope not. <laughs> so one while, is enough. So while you're here, this is again Blaze speaking. Um, let me give you a couple brief rules. So long as you don't endanger me or my crew, you're willing to stay here as long as you need to figure out what you want to do next. Oh, thank you for the hospitality. We don't know much about what was going on here. Honestly, I don't think anybody planned it out this far. Well, I think whatever plans they had disappeared when, you know, the greater demons descended on them after breaking through the wall. So, yeah, you have I'm not terribly fond of them myself. So you have you're willing to stay here. There are a couple rules. She points in a direction over that way is the stair is the door to the basement. Do not go this into way? the basement. No, over this way. Can you guys see my marker? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Over this way. Yes, that one there is going to be the doorway to the basement. Do not. Is that where the other one went away? No, he went the other direction. Okay. Past you into this hallway. Do okay. not go into the basement. It's off limits. Also, through this door, around the corner, there's a flight of stairs. Don't go upstairs. That is for members' rooms, for members of the Fountain View 5. So there's nothing up there for you either. Other than that, you can have free run of the first floor of the Fountain View. And you can... Stay here so long as you like, so long as you do not threaten or endanger any member of my crew. If you do, you'll be taken out the door feet first. Or in a very small container of ash. Does everyone understand this? Yes. Good. Makes sense to me. Then we can all be friends. Do friends have kitchens? Friends do have kitchens, says Birdie. I can show you where the kitchen is. Does kitchen have foodstuffs? I mean, it has things to make foodstuffs. All right, I can make the foodie stuffs. Right. If you take the Twiggy to the kitchen, Twiggy makes the family things. Uh, while they're kind of walking off, mm -hmm. I'm going to, in my head, reach out to Luther. So what does downstairs sound like to you? You think it might be an interesting situation? <laughs> okay, with that, I will... With the look of, uh-uh, we ain't going there. <laughs> the, the, the look of, I ain't playing games with them yet. <laughs> Fair enough. So, so Vanith, you, you, um... Do you, do you think she's going to come back with anything normal, or are we still getting a Twiggy surprise? 
It will always be a to be surprise. And it will hey, always be tasty. There we go. I don't I don't think there is a normal. <laughs> can you mm. can you see Birdie moving? I can see Birdie moving, yes. Okay. We're going down this way now. There you go. Yay. And over here. Defendant Cougar, thank you for the follow. As Cash follows the tweet. I am following the Twiggy. Okay, you well I'm you go curious. through the you go through the dining room, and into the kitchen, which actually has a pretty well stocked larder, and two large casks of meat. Oh, <laughs> spicy juice! Um, as you can see, there are baskets with some vegetables along the top wall. Um, they don't have appear to have much in the way of meat but i mean you can always go find rats yeah i mean they, we could make some tasties i can make a lot of the tasty things with the stuff in the hair yeah it's yeah. not so bad what's in this store that is a closet no oh, there, there's literally nothing in that door wonderful yeah, that's just a closet okay I don't know I feel like I have to follow him everywhere or he will cause I mean he might. Hey Vases. So you guys can wander around and do the first floor explorations. If you can't get into a room because the door is on an odd angle for some reason, click on the door to open the door and then walk through it. Oh, okay. Oh, and Birdie stands in front of where the um, the doors to the the stairs are, and says that that's the other off-limit door. Don't go up, don't okay. go down. Easy. Yeah, don't go up, don't go down. As long as you stay on the first floor, everything's fine. And I didn't see anything happen in this room, so I have no reason to be scared of this room yet. <laughs> Which room? Uh, Luther has not actually seen Polly. He just heard someone say that. It's not right. seen what Polly is or what. Well, as you walk in on. there, you don't see Polly. You just see the rug. Right. <laughs> and which of these three doors over here uh, is the way down? So I don't go in that one. Uh, it should be Hello? this one that I'm on this right here. This first yeah. door? Okay. Yeah, that one is that yeah. one is the no. Okay, and the... the uh... The other door was the one over here on the right. Correct. correct. Okay. Other and than that, you th guys can go anywhere on the first floor that you want. What is that this room, room appears to be a small library. It has books Ooh. and charts and manuscripts and things. I will plop down and go through them and look for anything of value. Maps of the area. Information on who might be in charge, etc., etc. Uh, I, don't, I don't think anybody's in charge anymore. Just, just, just say. Well, who used to be in charge then? You probably have a better source of that information than the books, manuscripts at this moment. Okay. Not saying that looking at manuscripts is a bad idea. Just saying that at this moment, it's not arguably not the best use of your time. I know. I, I know that breaks your heart. There we go. All right. So is there anybody from our host party still here on the first floor? Yes. Um, Birdie is in the kitchen with you. Um, okay. What you assume is Alexander is in the room with the fireplace. <laughs> relaxing on the, um, on the old beat up sofa in the back. I say assume is Alexander because the head looks like Alexander's. <coughs> But instead of the large suit of armor that you saw before, it's a weedy five foot nine, 85 pound dripping wet good nerd. Not a good nerd. Well, since Birdie's here in the kitchen with me, having shown me to the, the larder and such, you're like, okay, well, we've got 
enough for a little bits of stuff. Do you like anything in particular? Twiggy knows a little bit of everything. Oh, anything that you want to cook is going to be fine. We, we, we don't have a real chef with us, so, I mean... We get I mean, by, you still don't, but now you have a Twiggy, yes! We, we, we get by by what we manage to not burn, so anything you want to cook is going to be great. Oh, we can do much better than just not cooking. You haven't had one of my boo-boo biscuits yet. Uh, what about do the others? Anybody got... ask you a question? It's rather personal. It's, in fact, as personal as you can get. <laughs> I've been traveling with cats for, like, two weeks now. I doubt you can top him. Okay. But challenge accepted. What are you? Oh, I'm that's Twiggy. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what well, a scale to one to cast, that's a two. <laughs> that was nothing. <laughs> Second, I'm sorry, my brain has farted on the race name. What is the race name? Drevin. Drevin. Okay. No, no, Twiggy, Twiggy is a Drevin. So, you're actually a plant. Yes. I mean, I know a lot of other Drevin are big, tall, strong oak, or graceful, pretty, pretty willow, and Twiggy is shrub. But still Drevin. Technically, still Drevin. Okay. I mean, I've heard of... Uh, I Obviously, I am familiar with the idea of awakened plants, but uh, never had actually experienced one directly before so this is this is a first for me oh i don't know if that's because of everything that was the over here going all to poops with the red sun and things but there's still a couple of glades over there so maybe there's a glade or two over here somewheres maybe we find them maybe i start one who knows interesting well when in times of trouble, which there are lots of times of trouble over here, to just be... Uh, stick your head down and your leaves up and not move a lot. That's a great way we to uh, not have things. Although, I didn't see a lot of green anything on this side of the gate. Oh, there's so, plenty of green on this side of the gate. It's just all a bit north of here. North. Well, if I want to go find a glade, perhaps they'll be the north. Because if there's no green, there's no Drevin. Yeah, well... I mean, it's not exactly forested land, but north of here is uh, Grimmore. Grimmore? Yes. Grimmore it, doesn't sound like a happy, happy place. It's a swamp. Oh, a swampy place. Spanish mossy kind of driven, maybe. Who knows? So, how long has you been here in this place without uh, anything to do with the cooking? And you're here with... Your peoples and the doings. I mean, I, I've been here at Fountain View for probably four years. Um, I mean, a spot aside from yeah, aside from Blaze, I would say I'm probably the most senior member of the group at the moment. Oh, okay. Wasn't really expecting to be able to ask people, but since you do, you know what happened? Because one twenty years ago, one hundred twenty years ago, it was the, with the big things. No, that was a, that was, was a lot before me. Yes, I know, but what do the stories with the big tells of anything that you have? Do you know? Like, because yeah. all we had was the big boom and then all the. I mean. Blaze or Marcus are probably a better person to ask, although Marcus is not of the best temperament recently. So I would say Blaze. Okay. Well, then I have a very important question for you. Yes. How do people around here feel about chocolate? Uh, we would love some, but don't give any to, uh, to Polly because... Chocolate is no, bad no, for no, 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 no,
who is doing his best to leaf through the um, what passes for a mild library. Don't burn anything, Cass. <laughs> Shut up. Looks like it's already burnt. <laughs> There's a suspicious um, amount of sulfur in the air. Just did something get lit? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm I'm trying to put it out. Uh, give me an investigation roll. I would love to. I'm sure you would with your plus seven. It's gonna come out to a two. No, it is not. A Twenty-six. I mean, that's, you found some stuff. That's that's a good roll. All right, so tell me something that you were looking, trying to figure out by sifting through the um, uh, through the manuscripts as quickly as possible. What do I want to know first? Um, I have a map that fills itself out, so I'm probably looking for more information on the terrain. Like, why? How are these people here? and surviving yet demons are constantly patrolling like is there any note of like what happened before the demons happened or devils sorry okay. i don't remember before the, the devils happened, happened before yeah. all of that occurred um from what you can get quickly perusing through the reason why this was called the black fortress and the black gate is Every major city or castle in the Hegrillan Empire was the domain of a dragon lord. And each of the dragon lords ruled over each separate location as a city state. And then they, the dragon lords, all formed a council which oversaw the empire with a single dragon lord acting as the uh, emperor elect. The reason why this is the Black Fortress and that was the Black Gate and had all of the imagery of black dragons on the gate and in the Gothic building structures is because this was the territory of the dragon lord of the black dragons. Is there any note of a name of either the black dragon that they might have done or the dragon lord themselves? The You've seen a couple different, like spinning through, you've seen a couple different dragon lords named. The last dragon lord that you have a name of, uh, I mean, you, you did roll a 26. The last dragon lord that you have a name of would be uh senwid c y n w y d however there's nothing in here that you see since the crimson dawn so you don't you would have no information as to if he is currently alive or dead awesome thank you uh as you are going through all of the manuscripts um Marcus has kind of stepped in. This room is awkward because it doesn't map well, but... Right. No, I get you. Yeah. Marcus has stepped in and is just kind of like leaning against the wall watching you do the things. Uh, I kind of take note as he comes in and then I'm finishing up. I'm like, okay, I'm in the middle of this. Let me quickly finish this up. Try to figure out. Um, and I apologize. The Found V5, I forgot to write down last... So I've got Blaze, Marcus, what are the names again? Uh, Blaze, Marcus, Birdie, who was the one in leather armor with the staff, and Alexander, who was the big tough warrior in armor, in armor who is now apparently a 5'9", 85-pound Gennard. Nice. So not big tough guy in armor. With the reddest hair. Little tiny Gennard in armor. And Polly is the name of the uh, of the hungry carpet in the foyer. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Did we never learn the 
number five's name, right? Oh, uh, did I say Blaze, who's the one who's currently in the lead? Uh, number five, it was said, but only once. So if you missed it, I'm going to say that I when missed you missed it. it. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. Yep. Um, I didn't know if it was common knowledge or not. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, yep. And then we're going to come over to Gray, who apparently is currently staring at um, at Alexander. Yeah. Um, so, Alexander. Yeah? You uh, were wearing armor earlier, and yet you were trying to cast spells. Well, I mean, like, it was a cantrip. I wouldn't exactly call that casting spells. I, I motion at my holy symbol, and I'm like, uh, not very familiar with the more arcane things. I mean, after a fashion, neither am I. I'm, I'm not a wizard. Do you have any explanation for what's been going on here? Right back. It's been... Over a hundred years, we have had no communications from your kingdom. I mean, pretty much what happens, as I can understand it, as it was my great-great-grandfather's nightmare, not mine. But pretty much as I understand it, in the middle of the night, a dimensional portal... A hundred miles across or more ripped open over part of the kingdom and all kinds of nastiness flooded through. And unfortunately, the Black Fortress was under the blast radius. Hmm. That sounds like a worse night than what we've experienced. Yeah, so... I mean... This was a city... Uh, I mean, back then, from what I'm told, this was a city of over a million people. And within the span of a night, it became like 20,000 refugees. And those that survived, survived by hiding. And... You know, doing what we can in small numbers. It makes sense. Because there's just too much space for the demons to search everything. For the devils yeah. to search everything. Sorry. Mm. Well, that makes sense. I mean, our, our first warning was basically an assault on our, our gate. Yeah, it was like that, but directly overhead. Hmm. I guess that uh, startled more than a few people. I mean, it murdered more than a few people. So, but um, I'm kind of concerned about your armor because I shouldn't not be able to fix that. Unless I'm mistaken in your armor is magical, which is why I can't mend it. But I don't think it is. It doesn't look like it. Um, my, I, I, I don't remember. Did we show him uh, Zydex armor? No. Okay. Uh, well, my armor is not okay. magical. Um, the, but I, I motion out toward the, towards the other room. Uh, the other suit of armor that I'm carrying, I believe, is magical, though. Uh, do you mind if I take a look at it? I kind of have a thing for armor. <laughs> Not at all. I'll go get it. Okay, cool. Uh, I run out and grab it and come all right. back. <clears throat> While that's going on, we're going to bounce to the other conversation in the room, which would be still standing in the foyer together would be Luther and Blaze. Two people that are both pretty sure with no possible evidence to support it but also knowing that they don't need any evidence to support it looking at each other pretty sure the other one is up to no good hmm. 
<laughs> you, you are probably not wrong, because I believe both of us are giving each other the exact same stare of... Yeah, she's just kind of like so... staring at you, and <laughs> so, yeah. Um, also, I will tell you, you did call her class correctly in the middle of the fight. So you recognized what she is and what she does, and how she does it. So you know that you know what she is. She may know what you are. You're not sure. She, she may know what class you have. You're not sure. But you know she's given you some eyes. And they're not exactly the drunk type. Uh, they're the type of, do I have to deal with you now? Or do I potentially have to deal with you later? That's exactly the type. She reaches into a pouch, pulls out a cigar, and goes, and then... It. So, yes, how can I help? What actually happened? Because I'm not going to ask the military man, he's going to give me a military answer. Uh, I will say there was a lot of loot left on the ground and. Uh, there were a lot less when I walked past her the second time. But it you we were the rear guard, for lack of a better word. The guys okay. that were in the back watching the catapults, trebuchets, whatever the hell the sea gender was called. It's all a bunch of bearded devils. It's all I have no idea what the giant white bone thing was that decided to turn Vanel into a human mace. Bone devil. Um, okay, bone devil. So that is what they're called? Yeah, that's a bone devil. They're yeah. tough. They're real tough. They're big and tough. I, I can tell. Uh, I was. Uh, I, I, got, I got front row seats and didn't have any popcorn to literally watch him using paladins as weapons. Yeah. <laughs> It, it wasn't pretty, but yeah, we we definitely did not come across the victor in that fight. Now, what happened after a certain point, I'm not aware of, because they were not lying. We definitely did hit high dressed. But hey, I got to live another day. That means I get to steal more stuff. Or, you know, whatever. Right. Just not in here, right? Uh, you guys are fine. I ain't okay. taking any of your stuff. They're, they're better. They're better things I can get from you, like information. Like what's actually going on around here? <laughs> I mean, what's going on around here is the Black Fortress is a wasteland. You know, this was a shining beacon of the Empire, and now it's three quarters rubble and has been for a century. This is a city of a million people and. At this point, I mean a couple thousand, if that, living in, you know, huddled in small numbers, in small gangs, feeding off of scraps and fighting each other for control of territories. Because if anybody gets too big or anybody tries to do too big of a move, the Asmodian Legion just swoops in and destroys everything. Gotcha. That, so you guys are kind of part of the reason the patrols are so frequent around here? Besides I mean, just being near the gate? Yeah, I mean... Us and a whole bunch of other... Um, a whole bunch of other gangs at this point. Any gangs we need to stay away from specifically? Is that, I, I can tell you a fair few on the other side that were... Not so friendly to anyone, especially if you wanted to keep your limbs. Uh, let me try to put these in real quick. I mean, honestly, none of them are what I would consider friendly. Um... We're right at ground zero of a lot of the fighting because we're so close to offhands. And I mean, with that being the only 
neutral ground outside of Eastgate, this is, you know, considered prime real estate. Um, you know, right next to us, we've got the Red Hunters and um, the Cult of the Devil both to the north. We've got the Necroficers to the south, the Vultures and Frozen Skulls below them. Um, on the other side of the thoroughfare for the gate, we've got Barrowborn, Sons of the Dragon, Marauders, Jesters. I mean, there's always somebody new moving in make with two or three friends trying to make a gang and trying to weasel into somebody else's turf. Some of them survive a week. Some of them don't. Ah, uh, that sounds like normal gang fun. All right. Just in a less than normal situation. Um, you were saying around here is kind of neutral ground. No, no, this uh, is this is our turf. But okay, sorry, I misunderstood. Southwest of here is off hands. It's a market that's open for about two hours a day, give or take flyovers. Gotcha. So I take it then that the the gangs gather using you know quotes here to, to buy from there and that's why yeah I, that, that that's why it's called off hands because it's no one's allowed to touch anybody else there we do a little trade back and forth sometimes an exchange of prisoners it, it's open area where everyone can see everything that's going on so it is the place where the where where people are most likely to gain or lose face. Gotcha. Okay. Now that might be an interesting place to stop by when next time the you know market's open. Might be able to get a little bit more information. Actually, you know what? One second here. That's pretty much all I, I, I put on it right now is I took off all the old stuff that you had. So you just had the Black Fortress here and then the gate right here on the edge of the map. Gotcha. And we saw that one of the, the markers is, I think it was just north of the gate. Well, there's one just south right here. Let me get this a little bit more on shot for you. There's one right here just to the south. And then there's one right here. So there's one south of the Black Fortress, maybe about, because remember, each of these hexes is 10 miles. So there's one about within 10 to 15 miles south, right here. I see that one. Okay. Uh, and then there's one about 30 to 40 miles north. Okay, um, so... And then there's... So and then there's one about a hundred miles north, um, just northeast of uh, Kajakor. Gotcha. So the one that's south would be the closest to us, and that one would be you said about like fifteen miles or so. Yeah, it's about ten to fifteen miles. It's it's close. Okay. It, it's so close that it is within the area where it's showing you the actual terrain of the map because the map is is reading that area. Gotcha. So, like, given where it's put, would we? Would I would think? Uh, would Luther have thought that it was actually part of the mountain range or like right next to it? Yeah, yeah. Like, you would think okay. it's like right next to it, like like probably like a small box canyon kind of thing. Gotcha. All right. So, Blaze, I have a question for you. There okay. was... So, we did have a map that had some marks on it, but one of the marks was actually near here. It's about 15 miles south near the, the, the mountain line. Do you happen to know any information about that area? Uh... I mean... Yeah... I don't know that I'd want to head there myself because first off, it's Knoll territory. Uh, okay. 
And there's a pack lord down there named Nashclaw. Who's, who's in charge of the of, of the gnolls in that area. And his camp is set up his camp is set up next to one of the obelisks. Or ne sorry, next to an obelisk. Uh, okay. So So uh, yeah, that's 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 good to know. And Nash Claw, you said was his name? Yes. I'm actually writing this down. Good. I normally have a good enough memory, I don't think I do today. <laughs> um Okay. Thank you, that's good that's good to know. I just that is one of the markers we are supposed to go look at, I think. Uh, you gotta clarify with the person who has the, you know, the books, potentially. If he still has them. All or right. Hasn't burned them, because, you know, he always smells of smoke and burns everything by accident. Well, hopefully he won't light anything on fire in here, because that... I mean... If I'm not lighting things on fire, you know it's a bad idea to be lighting things on fire. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't expect him to do so. He only lit the, the whatever. Uh, what was the name of the, the largest school? library in our kingdom yeah. on fire? I, I'm sitting there about to say like the Magisterium or something like that, and I can't remember the name of the actual archaeology. Uh, archaeology, that was it. It's okay. He only lit the archaeology on fire once. It's, the the what? He should have learned by now. Um. Think of a library the size of this, uh, probably the size of a castle. Oh. He accidentally lit a, lit a part of it on fire once because he got, I think he was studying too hard and let the candle go too low or something. He never keeps the story straight, but I think it's more because he gets flustered and, and embarrassed, which is why I make a point to tell him don't light anything on fire every time he goes to touch books. Yeah, he... I, let's hope he doesn't have any accidents while he's here, or I might have an accident, which is going to make him a big accident. <laughs> I don't think you have a problem. We're going to have to worry about that. Uh, I unfortunately inherited keeping him in, uh, in check on that area. And we're going to cut from here back over towards Gray. And you have just brought in the armor. And mm -hmm. uh, Alexander has spent a few minutes taking measurements, doing filings, examining things. Um, and he's like, yeah, this is, this is most definitely should be magical. I'm confused. This is, it's, I mean, I think it's magical. It's... I'm pretty sure it's magical. But it's not acting magical. And I can't figure out what its enchantments are. Because something's in the way. Hmm. Well, both my armor and the captain's there... Um, we were in a company that assaulted the bone dragon. I was, I point to the, the bone dragon. Mm. A devil. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. That's a lot smaller. No, no, no problem. Things, it's things been a rough a day. Bit, yeah. 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 I, I apparently was dead for several hours. Um, I mean, um, sure. Yeah, things get a little. Yeah. Um, I was actually, you know, I point to the uh, the hole in my armor, and I I was impaled on you know, the you know the stinger, and so was the captain. And um, so, you... was this bone devil fighting with a like a scepter or a staff? Do you recall? 
I'll let you Everyone. make a perception check to see if you remember, if you want. Hey. Yeah, I believe he was. Okay. Then that's probably Golgar, and that might explain a little bit about what's going on with your armor. He's... He's one of the, like, lieutenants in the Asmodian Legion. So, yeah, he's... He's not even just a normal... Normal Bone Devil. And even a normal Bone Devil would have been bad enough to have to deal with. Mm. Well, as far as I can tell, he eliminated my entire company, and I'm the only one that stood back up. I mean, that sounds about right. All right, so we're going to cut back over to uh, Twiggy. What have you been working on in the kitchen? Well, since we have a pretty good stock of root veg going on here, I have found also a little thing of oil. So got a big old fry pan going. We're making some fritters of various means, uh, things that I don't know how long we're going to be here for. These can all be put into a pocket and just gone to go do things with if we need to. Also, heckin' tasty stuff. Uh, is, uh, do I have any luck finding any kind of fruit, though, because jelly is needed for some of these. Uh, there are like some stone fruit, but not a lot. It, it, is uh, Birdie still around? Yeah, she's in and out occasionally. Okay, like, so, so, larder, good, very nice, thank you very much for the use of the, where, where can we get more? Because, quite frankly, jelly needs to happen. <laughs> I don't need sugar, I can just boil the things down. Yeah, but only if there is, in fact, some fruity bits. I've got a few, but Echo eats fruit all of the time. And only... I mean, Somebody gone. Either forage for it in the city or go to offhands tomorrow and see if anybody has any to trade. Okay. Okay. Is there, like... It's a big old castle. Was there once upon a time garden area or something that foraging would be good to do in or something like that? That could be good. I, I mean, could... for something like that, you'd have to go inside the wall and that would be a bit more dangerous. Normally, we just kind of stay around the outskirts. The wall? What wall? There's lots of walls. What wall? The, well, we're outside of Eastgate. We're not inside the gate. This is an area outside of the fortress. Yeah. For gardens, you'd have to look inside the fortress. Okay. So there's a part you call the wall that is a big line between inside and outside. Yes. Okay. What's on the inside that's so bad? The Asmodian Legion. Ooh. And you all just stay here. This close. To the devil. Well, okay. if you try to leave the area, you don't have cover and are much easier to be seen from the air. Fair point. Fair point. And I mean, it's either stay here or head south into Knoll Country or head north into Grimmore or head into the Black Pass. Well, we just came from the Black Pass, so I can't say as I recommend it. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So I mean, not not a whole lot of good options. Gotcha. So we just make do with what we can. Okay. So you, nice little group we got here. Nice little place. What's the rest of the everything's that looks like with the? You've got just a market that happens a couple times, and that's the it. And everything else is just fetch, fend, and fight. Yeah, pretty much. Oi. And that's... That's what there is. Would you like more? I mean, who wouldn't? 
but we can't get more until something can drive the drive the legion out of the keep and for that we would need a dragon lord a dragon lord or divine intervention like i said a dragon lord well don't know any dragons but i know some feathered folk maybe one of these days <laughs> All right, so we are going to skip a little bit, and we're going to say it's probably about a half hour-ish later, and Twiggy has managed to get all of the cooking done, and everyone's trying to collect in what is generally a dining room area for five people that's about to have way more than that in it at once. So that's going to be inconvenient. I mean, if I take up too much room, I can fix that. Well, Twiggy's not actually going to sit. Twiggy's going to be serving the people. So she's in from the kitchen through the hall, in the kitchen through the hall, and like never actually sitting down. There'll be a circle of the table a couple of times, but that's it. Okie doke. So, yeah, so you come in, you bring in some, some good-looking food uh, that you've managed to make with, on one hand, fresher ingredients than you're used to using in the army. On the other hand, a poorer quality of ingredients than you're used to using in the army, if that makes any sense. Right. Preserving yeah, techniques. A lot of it is... is is deep fried things because I did find some oil to do some frying in. So uh, everybody uh, gets you, you probably a, found some some lard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Fats. That's what yeah. we have. Uh, so everybody gets a plus one to all skill checks until the next uh, short or long rest. Yay. Deep fried. One more time. Everyone will get a plus one to skill checks okay. because I fried things. And <laughs> As you all sit down to try to, you know, enjoy a comfortable meal, just the nine of you, there is a knock at the front door of the fountain view. The fifth guy is actually alive. No, and no, 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 no. We're My going to stop right there. My lackeys bring all the monsters to the yard. And we're going to stop right there. So if you are watching this on YouTube, thank you very much. Please be a good werewolf, like, and subscribe. And uh, tell all your friends. If you're watching on Twitch, we're going to continue in a moment. But I just want to thank all of my wonderful players. Lost Without a Trace, Scorched Ace 97, Ari Cypress Everly, Greymane Gaming, and Morden56 for uh, being here for this session of the show. Thank you all very much for watching this. Uh, we have enjoyed this opportunity to entertain you. And like I said, if you are interested in more of this, you can check out our Twitch channel, um, Second Class Elitist, spelled out the, the word second, not the 2ND. That's where you can find me on the Twitter machine. Uh, other than that, we also do have a patreon where you can catch videos ahead of time before they're released there will be information about that uh down in the doobly-doo below we stream live on twitch every tuesday every other tuesday for this campaign and also a different campaign on thursdays so if you're interested in either one make sure you stop by say hi have fun i actually play in the other one instead of gming so that means the game quality goes up anyway thank you all very much for being here i hope you had fun and now we are going to give you a stupid wave